You are listening to the podcast Weather with Enthusiasm. You won't believe what the European computer model is forecasting for this Friday in Missouri, Taft, Missouri, a temperature of 109 degrees. We don't even have to go to Texas anymore. I'm going to put a screenshot up of these forecasted temperatures. The National Weather Service is forecasting a high in Taft, Missouri of 103 degrees. AccuWeather is also forecasting highs to go into the low hundreds. European computer model has found a localized area in that region where the temperatures are expected to hit 109 degrees. This is five days out. The European computer model is known for being the most accurate computer model when we're dealing with five days out. The whole question is, what will the dew point temperatures be? And that's probably what's going to determine what ultimately the high temperature is going to be. Springfield, 106. St. Louis, 100 degrees. Cape Girardeau, 102. Memphis, 104. Jackson, Mississippi, 102. Alexander, 104. That's in Louisiana. Lake Charles, Louisiana, 198. New Orleans, 97. Shreveport, 104. These are all from the European computer model for this Friday. Again, we don't even have to go to Texas anymore. Texas is pretty, is the same thing. The same deal over there. We're going to speak about in just a second that today will actually be the hottest temperatures in Texas, West Texas, hottest temperatures possibly ever as temperatures hit 100, if they hit 121, hottest temperature ever, current forecast 120 degrees, so Texas receives its hottest temperature, West Texas for today, the heat ridge is centered over portions of New Mexico. It slowly expands east into the Louisiana-Texas border by Thursday, pushing very hot temperatures into portions of Missouri by Thursday and Friday. The whole thing is, however, is that the National Weather Service tells us they do not have high confidence by the time you hit the St. Louis area due to a possible front in, uh, due to actually, it's not a front. It's due to the ring of fire around, which is surrounding the heat dome and possible thunderstorm development. All these places, which are towards the edge of the heat dome, have that possibility of thunderstorm development. In fact, even today, there's already a heat advisory, by the way. In fact, for Taft, Missouri today, for you know, the temperatures already forecasted to go up to 100 degrees today in Taft, Missouri. Maybe that's even a bigger shockeroo than to have to wait till Friday. Even today, with the ridge over in New Mexico with peak heat in West Texas, it's still in Taft, Missouri. Paducah, Kentucky is the National Weather Service for Taft, Missouri. They are dealing with possible severe weather risks for parts of that county warning area in the east south these portions. I don't think Taft, Missouri is included, but the Boot Hill of Missouri, parts of the Ozarks, areas around there could be getting some severe weather, but very hot weather conditions today. It remains hot the whole week, but it does cool down a little bit in the middle of the week, and the most significant heat would be today or on Thursday and Friday as the ridge centers itself over the Louisiana, Texas. Here's the deal for the summer. Once these ridges set up, once they develop, they're here for the summer until usually perhaps a hurricane comes to destroy it, which would happen like mid-August, late August or so. They wax and wane throughout the summer. They move around here and there, but they're generally in the same region. So all in all, St. Louis has not really gotten hit with it a little bit, maybe yesterday and today. Temperatures going into the mid-90s, but not the classic St. Louis heat. A couple other days later in the week, but we don't really see it stationary over the St. Louis area yet. Nonetheless, temperatures are still going to manage to hit to normal and above normal, even when the ridge is not there due to it's, there's really a heat dome up north as well. It's just not producing the intense heat, the same type of intensity, usually these Canadian air masses could cool things off into the 70s this time of the year, but not this year. This year, the Canadian air mass itself is like a heat dome in and of itself, producing temperatures well into the 80s, even lots of 90s. Uh, we're going to play a different segment, and that, which is more focused on Texas, and that's coming up just in 5 to 10, about 12 seconds.
Today, Sunday, June 25th, 2023, will be the hottest day in 29 years, at least, for portions of Texas. Uh, Rio Grande Village, Texas, could be tying the all-time high for the state of 120 degrees set back in 1994 could hit 121 degrees, says the National Weather Service, and if it does so, it would be the hottest temperature on record. Uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, has a chance of seeing its highest temperature in eight years this week, as temperatures may hit 100 degrees. The last time this happened, apparently, was in the year 2015. The air mass that's responsible for this is a dome of heat that's 596 decimeters tall that's the height last week we said 594 this week it's 596 today looks to be the hottest day for places like rio grande village but this heat dome starts to move east and centers itself over the louisiana texas border by thursday that's going to cause a drop in temperatures for West Texas, but an increase in temperatures over the Louisiana area. Places which are near the center of the heat do not have to worry about any type of precipitation in the forecast. I mean, forecasters don't have to worry about that, So, meaning the forecasts are therefore going to be more accurate. Uh, in regards to the suffocating heat, however, uh, it's not going to be good news to for that. The St. Louis area will be getting in on the action. It's forecasted to get in on the action for Thursday and Friday. That's the time when that high-pressure ridge moves over to Louisiana. That's when it gets closest to St. Louis. And currently, the National Weather Service is forecasting 100 degrees Friday afternoon in St. Louis. It does not reach 100 degrees often in St. Louis, although it did reach 100 uh, a few times last year. And we also saw 100 degrees in the year 2012. If someone was there for 2012, they would think that 100 degrees is a frequent occurrence. It does occur annually, every year. It does hit 100 degrees just about, but it's not common. Despite the forecasts of upper 90s Thursday and 100 degrees Friday for St. Louis, the National Weather Service tells us they do not have high confidence in these forecasts due to the possibility of thunderstorms. St. Louis will not be close to the center. St. Louis will be close to what's called the Ring of Fire. That's continuous possible lightning that goes around the heat dome for continuous thunderstorm development. The heat will be expanding into Oklahoma It will be expanding into Kansas this week. It will also expand into Arkansas this week. Even Springfield, Missouri will be reaching 100 degrees this week. So the heat is expanding to places this week that it wasn't even close to last week. And the heat, as we mentioned, has intensified, bringing 120-degree heat later on today to Rio Grande Village, Texas, which is an all-time high for the state. The previous high did not occur in Rio Grande Village, but it was 120 degrees back in the year 1994. Heat indices this week, however, do go down a little bit because the dew points are expected to go down. It does remain humid and temperatures widespread hundreds all over the place for much of this week, including Dallas, Texas, 100 degrees expected every day this week. Midland, Texas, 100 degrees expected every day this week. Midland, Texas has seen 11 consecutive days with temperatures in the hundreds. The record is 14 days. If the forecast materializes, they will be at 17 days by the end of the week. That brings this... Uh, episode two and end uh, stay safe if you want to hear more safety tips and if you want to hear more of an explanation of a heat dome you could listen to the previous episode uh, that we have it on there Today's Sunday, June 25th. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather in this country, which covers many of the major metropolitan areas around Ohio. This includes 
uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, the highest risk for severe weather. Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, and Cincinnati, Ohio. These areas are under an enhanced risk. That means there's a 30% chance for severe weather within a 25-mile radius from wherever you are. And initially, this also includes tornadoes in the very beginning. The beginning of it will be developing as supercells, and says the National Weather Service, and then it is expected to turn into a squall line. Uh, some sources say 4 p.m. this afternoon and later, but the National Weather Service tells us 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time to 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time is going to be peak occurrence of this. A slight chance, which is a 20% chance for Detroit, Michigan, Cleveland, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama, and Alcorn, Ohio, and a marginal chance, 10% chance for Atlanta, Georgia, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Shreveport, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, and Columbus, Georgia. Uh, this is due to, we have high humidity, actually, mid to upper 70 dew points that have taken over parts of that area. We also have a cold front moving through, and the combination of all this, along with, I'm sure, many other variables, was what's expected to produce this i don't know if we've mentioned also there's excessive heat occurring today in cape Girardeau, missouri where temperatures are forecasted to hit 100 degrees with heat indices around 107 degrees so we have a tremendous heat wave for the end of the week but only for a day or two for these areas but we also have it taking place today the Paducah, Kentucky National Weather Service is also dealing with high chances of severe weather. It's called the Ring of Fire. That's what happens around these heat domes. Thunderstorms tend to develop right around the heat domes. I wish everyone a wonderful week and a wonderful day. You've been listening to Weather with Enthusiasm. Special guest on our show. Uh, what is your name? Swizzle. Temperatures going into the low hundreds for the next three days. Holy cow! The Blackberry winter that comes up every year here in the Midwest on May 11th. Several additional feet of snow is expected by Monday morning. <gasps> This was in the forecast from a week ago, and the National Weather Service is finally acknowledging it today. Conditions are favorable for the development of an El Nino. We're going from one extreme to the next extreme. Despite the fact that it's 113 during the day and 46 at night, you could still do a little dance. <laughs> Recorded temperatures during heat bursts have reached well above 104 degrees. Oh my gosh. Google weather with enthusiasm and they're all going to come up. Meteorologists have collected weather with enthusiasm. Is this podcast?